there's a good reason why you might care what I have to say, which is I'm the head of the web spam or anti-web spam team at Google. So 90% of the WordPress blogs that I see look like this. They didn't even change the default template. So yeah, most of the spam that I see looks like this. WordPress is such a powerful tool that the spammers use it too, right? So I've seen a lot of really bad sites, but I've also seen a lot of really good sites. And I'm going to try to give you a few tips about things that might be helpful if you want to get crawled by Google. The beauteous, the wonderful thing is, you have all made a fantastic choice. This audience looks very smart, right? I walked in, I was like, not only are they attractive, they're really, really intelligent. Because you're using WordPress, right? WordPress automatically solves a ton of SEO issues. Instead of doing it yourself, you selected WordPress. Now, this is kind of a broad statement. WordPress takes care of 80, 90% of search engine optimization. When I say that, what I mean is the mechanics of search engine optimization. And by that, we talk about how crawlable a website is. You would be amazed at how many sites throw up a big old glob of flash, right? Or block a page with robots.txt so we can't even crawl it. So by using WordPress, you've already taken the first big step. WordPress is a fantastic piece of software. Today's question comes from Vicky2810. Vicky asks, I've used Blogger for three years, but now everyone tells me that WordPress is superior for SEO. After scouring many sites, I've been unable to find the SEO advantages to using Blogger. Are there any? Great question, comparing and contrasting. Um, you know, I work for a company that provides Blogger. On my personal blog, I use WordPress, so I, I can see the advantages on both sides. On one hand, Blogger is very simple to get started. It's very easy, and it's in the cloud. You don't need to download and install any software yourself. And for better or for worse, if you install software yourself, you, you're usually not patching it, so it's easier to get hacked. So if you just want to do casual blogging, if you're just starting out, Blogger is fantastic. Um, WordPress has a lot of flexibility. You can customize everything. In particular, you can say, I want my post to be having this specific URL, and you can choose those words. At least back in the day with Blogger, when you wrote your post, whatever you wrote would determine what the URL would be, and you didn't have the ability to individually control that. So they both have pros and cons. Both can work very well in terms of ranking well in term, uh, for search engines. If you get good links and if you have great content, it's absolutely the case that you can rank well on both Blogger and on WordPress. Blogger is probably a little simpler to start out, and it's good in the fact that since it's in the cloud, you don't need to worry about getting hacked. WordPress is maybe a little more effort because you can configure it yourself, but ultimately it gives you more flexibility and maybe a little bit more power. So there's a lot of good pros and cons, you know, whichever one you feel most comfortable with, I would give it a try. And if one has a better user experience or you, you just feel like one meshes with the way that you like to write a little bit better, that's the one that I'd go with. Um, and then eventually over time, you can always, I think both have ways where you can import and export your posts. So it's not like you're necessarily locked in forever, um, but definitely try them both out because both can work very well in terms of SEO.